Welcome to another Christmas special here on Vanilla FM and today we're going to play the house flipper game. I'm not sure if you've played it before. I have played it a while ago but I don't really remember the controls or anything like that but I'm sure it will get going just fine. So house flipper is a concept where you go around and fix houses and you flip them and sell them. Basically that's the whole concept. So um, start off with a little tutorial here just to um, get us going. What a mess. So is it forward? Okay, so we pick up the trash to dispose of it. It's a little bit of a weird... Uh, I need to walk forward. It's a little bit of a weird um, movement because the, the mouse pointer is always in the center least in my settings anyway so if we're opening the door we're gonna pick up all this trash uh, that's all fine I don't think I can clean anything I'm gonna dispose of uh, some trash can I do anything else no no I can't clean anything yet but I can dispose of this trash and stuff. And then the way that it all kind of comes together is that we go to the laptop and we get jobs that way. So we're gonna use the laptop and we're gonna look at our first mail. And we have Sarah Lewis. She says, hello, I'd like to hire your company to put my house in order. I know from photos posted on Face Spam then my ex-boyfriend broke into my house, made a huge mess, and stole the radiator. Wow. Okay. Uh, it is possible that some other things are missing too. Please clean up the house and replace the missing appliances. I would ask you not to inform the police about the whole matter. I will settle it myself with my ex-boyfriend after returning from a business trip. Hmm. Interesting. So this is our first mission. And as, as you've read... We're gonna have to clean up the place and replace the items. We have a mop now, so we can do some actual cleaning. It looks all right from the outside. We have to remove the trash. So on the right hand side, you see that there's a little task progress bar that shows us what we've done so far. I think as time goes on, we can upgrade our skills as well and allows us to do more things at once. But for now, we're picking up one object at a time. Oh, come on. It's because I'm on top of the chair. Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna actually do that. So now we need to clean the dirt and change tool, right click to change tool. And we're gonna get the mop which is actually just a brush in this case. And we're gonna point to all of the stains, including the sofa and all the stuff. There'll be another tool for windows when, uh, as the game, game progresses. And you clean it up and you make, make it all nice and clean. Look at it, look at all this disappearing. I wish cleaning in, at the, in the home would be like this, that you just, pointed it with a brush for a few seconds and it would all be clean. Now it's saying we still have 85% oh no we've done 85% so we've got a few things left I don't think the oh no it's done. Okay we've won uh, if we go to the tablet which is this tab bar we can maybe look at our perks and I can upgrade I can either upgrade to see the dirt on a mini bar, mini map, clean faster, or have a good mop, which means longer range. I think I'm gonna go with the faster, just because we're playing this game. Right, 25%. Where's the other percent? Let's close the door. Uh, I wish I would have gone for the map now. 
Uh, ba -ba -ba. Oh, is that it? That's it. And mount the devices. I need to mount a radiator over there. So I'm going to hide this tool. And I'm going to go to the tablet again and look for a radiator. Um, radiator. I think it's this one. I'm going to install it there. And now I need to assemble it. This is the annoying bit about the game. I don't see why it has to work like this, but it does. And you just have to go through the motions. Of, it's just a continuous click. Like, click and hold. Okay, so this room is done. Oh no, wait, cancel. We haven't done 100% of it. Obviously there are some things to do here in this room as well. Whoops. So we're gonna complete, get 100%. And get my mop out. And we're gonna clean faster. I think that should be it. It says I haven't done everything. Maybe there's more in this room. Let's see. Oh yeah. There we go. And we're gonna complete the job. And we got some money. Now this house here that you see on the screen now, it's our starting house and it's um, essentially like the little office that we use. I'm not going to explore it too much because I think it's more fun to just do the missions. Uh, cleaning the garage. So, hello! We need to clean the garage. Please throw away all the boxes, throw away the trash and all tires. Please don't forget to clean the windows too. It's better not to touch the, the tools though. My husband doesn't like when someone moves them and can't find them afterwards. Regards, Carolyn Smith. So we're gonna, basically the first few missions are for you to get new tools and new skills and learn how to like the different mechanics of the game as well. Uh, so in this one, we're gonna learn how to clean windows. So we're gonna go to the garage door it's the only thing we need to do. It's very slow. Okay, I'm gonna get my mop out straight away and start cleaning this floor. Oh, that doesn't clean, okay. Okay, so maybe I'll just pick up the rubbish. I don't think the floor gets, gets cleaned here. Um, Excuse me, so some tires are new, so we don't touch them, so the ones that are completely black. But some tires are not new, and we need to dispose of them. Also the trash, and the old crates, and all the boxes and stuff. As far as the game goes, it's kind of satisfying to a point, but it's actually a lot of repetition in the game. So, I don't know, it might not be relevant to all people. Clean the dirt. So I do have to clean some dirt, I just need to figure out where the dirt is. So, let's try maybe the table. Yeah. Okay. says I've cleaned 11% so maybe these stains do come out oh they just take a little bit longer okay they take a little bit longer that's all so I have a new skill let's look at the tablet new cleaning skill I can clean faster still let's do it for that let's clean faster still it will help with these stains on the floor for sure. Okay. 
Okay, I think that's all. It says only 75. Obviously, I must have missed something. I don't know what, but we're gonna clean the window now. So we have this different tool for the cleaning the window. We have to click. And then it's quite a annoying way, and it's also slow to start with. Very slow. Imagine if you cleaned your windows like th this. is not how I clean my windows, by the way. I don't have a vacuum cleaner for my windows. All I get is a bit of paper roll, kitchen roll usually, and a couple of sheets of that, and some window cleaner. Oh, I must have missed something. I think it was here on the side. No, uh, I must have missed something else. I don't know where I missed, but I missed. Oh, yeah. Okay, where is the rest of the cleaning then? Um, I don't know where the rest of the cleaning is. Let's close the garage door. Maybe it's the garage door on the inside. Nope. Nope. I don't think I can get these. Oh, I can. Okay. I didn't think I could get these tire marks are out. But apparently I can indeed. Okay. 100% complete the job. So now we know how to clean windows as well. There's other things you learn as you go on. You learn plastering as well. Um, and other things. I'm not going to do the gallery just yet. Because I think the... Um, doing the jobs is, is, is a good way to start. I'll pay you. If you fully... If I'm fully satisfied, or you get nothing. Winter's coming, the winters are hard, and there are no radiators in my house. So ju we just need to mount ra radiators here. I think the more you do them, the faster you get at the, like, installing the little uh, hardware. So we're gonna just in install the radiators in the rooms. Okay, so... We're going to go find a radiator. And assemble. Therapeutic, isn't it? Okay, so that's one radiator down. That's the bedroom radiator. I thought I saw on the little map. If we have in this door. Whoops. Uh, oh, there's just not just radiators, but sinks as well. Okay, towel. You need a towel mounted radiator. That will do. Obviously, I had to climb on top of the washing machine to do this health and safety at work not being observed here but it's the kind of thing i'll do in my own house maybe although climbing on top of a washing machine isn't the best idea really because it if you're depending how stable the the top um plane is but anyway i digress we're gonna unscrew this so we can mount the toilet And now I'm going to purchase the toilet. Oh, it's a sink. Oh, fancy. Uh, what are we going to go with? Simple sink. I think. Assemble. Easiest thing ever. Oh no, we still have to do the washers. Ah, and the pipes. I forgot about the pipes, of course. This 
better give me some uh, perk points. <laughs> this is exactly how it works, guys. The top has no hole. Okay, complete the... Okay, no, I still have one more room to, to do. And it's the room to my right. So in this room, I have a radiator to install as well. I know. Assemble. Okay, job complete. Fantastic. Now, when we earn money, then we can go to the gallery, and that's when we can do the house flipping. But I think for this episode, I'll just show you the different things, uh, the different jobs and stuff that we can we can get. I'm gonna go to uh, do some walls now. Learn a new skill. Bonjour. I want my house to look a bit more arty. Can you please paint some of the walls in the living room? Amaranth, and remaining walls should look stunning in grey. Oh, I almost forgot. Could you please replace the broken electrical socket? Merci, Amanda Johnson. With a smiley face. So yeah, painting is another skill. There's also plastering, um, building the walls, so like brickwork, um, and stuff. So hopefully we can showcase all of those in this episode, hopefully. Nothing to do here. It's this this room is the room that needs to be painted. And where's the electrical socket that's broken? Uh, don't see any electrical sockets. Uh, so the map says it's over here. So I'm going to pick it up, move it. Pick it up and move that. Aha, there we go. Change the fuse. Of this, replace it with a new piece. Touch the wiring. I'm not sure if this is actually the color of the wiring and the order that it goes in real life, so don't take this as any advice for any real life electrical work, please. There we go. And it's in. Okay, now we move this back to there and we move the cooker as well okay all right nice now we need the paint so let's go to the tablet and he already has I don't know how much I'll need Well, we can almost sell the rest anyway. So we're gonna play Amaranth and Grey. Get a large one of both. Okay, I'm gonna drop that. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Continue the game. And now I just need to get the paintbrush. Now, what walls shall we paint red? Maybe this one. I think the I think the side wall here. Whoops. Scoop it up. Now the painting is quite satisfying actually. It's one of the most satisfying things of the game. And obviously the thing runs out.
eventually as you skill up you're able to do more than one um more than one section in a go That one's done. Sorry, the camera just ran out there. Okay, so now f I might paint this wall as well in red, but for now I'm going to do grey behind the telly. I'm stuck. I can't move. <laughs> Sorry guys, I can't move. How would I do that? Let's go this way. No. There we go. Okay. Got myself unstuck. Aha. Okay. So here's a skill that we can use. We oh, got quite a few actually. I'm going to paint faster. Ah. Paint wasting. You won't be able to paint on already painted walls. Upgrade. Um, now for the handyman, fast fitting all the way because that's the thing we've been doing the most. An extra payment. Let's go. Okay, we, we didn't get a notification for that one. So this is great because we won't be wasting um, paint on um, repeated passing uh, on the same color over, which is great. I was doing a little bit of that with the red. Okay, let's use the rest of the ink, not ink, paint on this wall here and now let's transfer over to red and let's start painting this wall kind of get the idea like you have to do each surface individually but as as you skill up you're able to do up to three different sections in one go oops I thought, I thought I ran out of ink there now I have okay and now just a little top here I don't like how the small surfaces use up as much paint as the large surfaces. There should be a mechanic to stop that, to kind of do it proportional, proportional to how big the surface is. Okay, oh, I'm gonna be stuck again. I have to go around. Oh no, I got myself stuck again. Okay. Right, so on top of the sofa now. Very professional here we are. Luckily you can't paint the ceiling, so that's all right.
just a little bit of white there. It's because we have to paint the outside as well. I might have to go back and do the same on the other windows. And refill it one last time. Let's just go back to the other windows and do the outside edge as well. Hopefully I'll have enough for this side. No, uh, one last refill. Okay, and the red is all done. I might use this red to do the inside of this window seal just for using up the red. I still have enough. Yep. Okay, and the rest is going to be grey. We're going to paint two planes at the same time. So I can show you what I mean. So we're going to use grey for the rest of the time. Um, So I can do this and this. Like that. Oops, I need more paint. paint uh, probably do these sections as well so let's do them in order uh, more paint and at the end we can sell the remaining paint as well Okay, complete 100%, I thought. Oh, maybe not. Maybe there's something else to do. So the, the kitchen is complete, but let's just explore the other rooms to see. Oh, we're going to repair the outlet. Okay, so I'm going to look for the outlet. It's apparently there. So let's go around the bed. And we're going to assemble some of these outlets. So now, because I've upgraded it, I, I, I don't need to click again for, for the majority of the stuff. I just continues, continuously click and it works through them. It doesn't work for everything, but it works for some things. Okay, so this one outlet finished and the whole job's been complete. I'm going to go, just need to remember to sell these bits of paint. So we've got um, uh, this price gun here. We can sell these bits of paint. Okay, complete the job and job complete. 1,000, oops, sorry, $1,000. Uh, I'm just going to quickly see if those last bits of, yeah, extra paint, there we go. We're progressing through the skills. We'll do one more job and then we'll call it quits. So let's put the tablet away. Let's do the baby on the way. Oh, additional walls. Knocks walls down. This this sounds interesting because it means that we're gonna have to learn a new skill as well. So recently, large rooms have become popular, which is proven to be a fact that my neighbor and the neighbor of my neighbor knocked down several walls in their homes. I would also like to have several walls demolished in my house. The walls 
between the living room and the kitchen and the corridor seem unnecessary. What is more, the neighbor from across the street painted the walls in his in the bedroom with their bright sky, blue sky, and I would love the same. Um, I believe that such a professional company would deal with my request at a very low cost without any problems. Anthony Gray. So we're gonna knock some walls down. So this is another skill, uh, demolishing, and we they might even ask us to build some walls again, which is a like bricklaying. So we're gonna see if we can complete this. So we need to demolish these guys. Let's close the door. Let's get our hammer, demolition hammer, and start to demolish stuff. And usually the idea is that you demolish until the bits disappear. And then you can keep hitting them and they will come down as well. I'll sell that door as well. Okay, let's sell the door. And I'll come back and demolish the rest, but for now. Oh, that's immoral, apparently. I can't sell the in um, light switch. Go around this. Jump on the sofa. Okay, and now we just hit them again until they all collapse. Missing. There we go. Excellent. Let's look at the tablet. Have we improved any skills yet? Not yet. Uh, I think the mulching. Oh, yeah, it does. So demolishing also gets uh, points. Let us work away at these guys. Nicely done. New skill point. Um, more muscle strength, faster demolition. Faster demolition, I think we're going with. And. Okay, so th th this is all rubble. And if we destroy the bottom now... No, not that wall. Uh, yeah, I nearly destroyed a wall we're not meant to destroy. That would have been bad. Okay, there we go. This is all rubble. Okay, this wall is destroyed. Now let's work our way.
go. Putting the switch back. I need to put the switch back somewhere. Let's pick it up. There. There we go. What's this? It's another switch. Pick it up. Put it there. Putting it behind the wall, behind the, a door is never a good idea, but this is what I'm going to do. I really don't want to move the sofa just to have to this, demolish this wall. Come on. Fall. There we go. I'm out of reach. Okay, I'm going to have to jump on a sofa for now. Come on. Go away. Go. I had it just a minute ago. There you go. Okay, that's it. That's the living room demolished. Uh, what else do I need to do? Any more? Nothing to do here. I need to paint the bedroom. Yeah, I forgot about that. Okay, so let's get our roller. And we're going to paint it with... Um, da -da -da, tusks. Blue. Is it the whole room? I think it is. Right, let's get our roller back. And let's paint this bedroom blue. door as well. You can see the reflection on that window, uh, on that um, wardrobe or whatever that is. And this is basically house flipper. Even when you purchase houses and then you flip them, you still do the same sort of thing. Obviously, you have to furnish it and whatnot. And different families and different buyers will have different preferences. And then they will bid. Um, the house will have a certain value to them depending on how well the house fulfills their preferences as well. So... So it's, it's very similar throughout. It's, you basically, you do this. You do painting, you do plastering. We haven't done plastering and tile laying either. But that's, that's another function that you can do as well in the game is plastering and tile laying. Um, yeah, so I'm going to leave it there. And as you can see, we are becoming experts at things. Um, and stuff. So that's so this is a very quick view at House Flipper. If you've never played it, go and try it out, experiment with it. I'm pretty sure you can build houses as well. At least modify the ones that exist in the game. Yeah, thanks so much for watching. Again, during the Christmas week, I'm just trying different games that I haven't played in a while and kind of showing them to you as well in half an hour, or in this case, 40 minutes. And yeah, so yesterday I did Europa Universalis 4, and today House Flipper. Tomorrow, probably Civilization. So um, uh, if you want to watch, uh, go ahead and press the subscribe button, and as soon as it's out, you'll get a notification. Thanks so much. Give it a like. Check out the Patreon as well. Take care. Bye bye.